Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Duel Links video. Uh, this time it's not really going to be ladder climbing so much as it is just playing with an interesting deck, just playing with something that's not necessarily the norm that you would see, and that is with Hero Beat. Uh, it's very much like an inspired deck based off the old Little City decks from older years in the TCG, basically. Um, there's obviously some cards that we don't have in Duel Links, like Burden of the Mighty and stuff like that, that makes the deck not really a one for one comparison although we do have wonder balloons which was something that i was testing for a while but basically i affectionately refer to this deck as dick beat um you just get your little weenies out there and then occasionally you uh use your where the heroes dwell skill and with your if you're unfamiliar with this this is a skill that Jaden has and it recently got buffed its current usage is can be used after your life points are at 3000 or below play the field spell skyscraper if there's already a field spell on your side of the field return it to your hand the skill can only be used once per duel now this skill used to be if your life was at 2000 or below so it's been buffed you only have to be at 3000 or below and that's why there's the one typed cosmic cyclone in here uh, i would be playing more mirror walls if i had more mirror walls i just haven't thrown infinite amounts of money into this game uh so like i just have the one probably use my gems pretty unefficiently but that's neither here nor there uh, but yeah, basically this is a deck that I'm going to be messing around with in the King of Games uh, ranking pool, which is sometimes good, sometimes garbage. And basically I'm just going to be showing you some gameplay with it. Now there's obviously other hero decks that are available, like the uh, like the Miracle Contact one that operates on almost the exact same principles, uh, but utilizing Miracle Contact with Neos and uh, trying to make Neos Knight. Now I do have three Miracle Contacts, but I do not have any Neos Knights currently. Uh, but that is a card that I am trying to push for because then I can update this deck uh, and at least it's a little bit of its functionality with Miracle Contacts and Neos Knight. Whereas the deck is largely what it would probably stay as, although it'd be playing more copies of Blaze Man and then one copy of Neos. So it'd probably just like basically rotate the heats out. But with that out of the way, with that little bit of explanation out of the way, I guess I'll just jump into some gameplay and show you guys how this deck plays because I really like it. It's a lot of fun to play. It's basically the same old principles of like Caveman Yu-Gi-Oh! Weenie Beat, uh, but Wild Heart is actually just really inflatedly powerful in this game when people don't know what's going on, but I'll let you see that for yourselves. All right, so we're going to go into the ranked pool in uh, King of Games. It's not really ladder climbing like I said, but it is something that's still, you know, at least decent to play around in. Sometimes people play like shit. Sometimes people play real decks. I'm hoping it's more of the latter, uh, because that'd be great. And we're already starting out with a matchup against Teo, which if it's Holy Guard, it's GBs. If it's Dual Standby, it could be a host of different decks, but at least it's not the Woodland Sprite deck. Okay, Dual Standby. Hmm. What could my opponent be playing? I'm going to set this. I'm going to set this Wild Heart. I drew a ton of monsters. If it's Dark Worlds and they summon Trance, I'm going to Floodgate the Trance. So that's pretty easy. If it's Cyber Angels, I think I outright lose? I could Floodgate the Dakini and still lose my Wild Heart. Into the Void. It's Dark Worlds. It's it's Dark Worlds or some variant thereof. Um, there's no way it's the Burn deck. Uh, the Endemon deck isn't that amazing. Yeah, it's just Dark Worlds. Um, he's targeting my set monster. Interesting. Okay. Okay. See, Dark Worlds you'd think would be really good in Duel Links, but they're actually only, like, very low tier 3. They're not even, like, amazing. Did you... Discarded Rainbow. Well, I'm sorry for your loss. Um, there was apparently a card you could have discarded out of your hand because you summoned Trance, and now you're going to discard 3. Trance, the Cheerful Coffin, and... <laughs> <laughs> well, this game was free! This game was free! How much defense does Trance have? 500! It's Wild Heart time! This game was so free! And this is why Dark World suck! Just one disruption and you just auto-beat them. And they, my opponent didn't even open well. He ended the Voided twice and got Cheerful Coffin. Which, by the way, this card is not worth. This This was a horrible Dark World deck. <laughs> this is a horrible Dark World deck. Um, but yeah, Dark World's, even at their best state, is like tier 3 status. Um, they're just they're not really that good in Duel Links, unfortunately. Um, it's, it's, it's an unfortunate state of affairs. But, like, the deck isn't just... It, it just it has too many problems. And, like, it's only usable with Taya on Duel Standby to try and solve those consistency issues. Uh, but you still just have those. You still just have the issues, and there's nothing that, like, there's nothing that really fixes it. 
And then a lot of like the, the most common back row in the game right now just cucks you. You summon Trans Archfiend and you get Floodgated. Your Dark World Lightning is set and you can flip it up as Mirror Wall. And the card has to stay set. So if it's a card that gets flipped, your, your Dark World Lightning doesn't discard a card. <laughs> There's so much shit. Okay. Uh, Bones with Restart is what it seems. And I guess that's kind of alright. Yeah. Okay, so he's restarting. Okay, what do we got? Oh my god, he's playing Cyber Angels with Primal Cry. Oh my lord. Return Sprite Blessing. This this hand was kind of okay to keep, though. Especially if you knew you were going first. I think I would have kept that hand. Because you could just... <laughs> you could just keep this hand and, like, put yourself on drawing a combo piece. And then uh, and then the Cyber Petite Angel, like, completes the combo for you. But okay, Sure. Looks like you're doing things now, at least. I've got Econ to counter the Dakini, which is good. And I've got the Powerful Rebirth to counter my own Econ. Um, he's playing the Venu bullshit, which is like the shittiest version you could be playing. The Saphira version is a lot better in terms of results. Hell, there's some there's some decks that are just playing just Saphira, and they're doing well in, uh, in current tournaments. Uh, but okay, so Sinju and Primal Cry are in his hand. Adding Dakini. Are you just going to go ahead and use the Dakini now? Or are you just going to blow your load turn one? Oh my lord. Well, I can only summon Venu. So you're going to discard Dakini? No, you're going to use these for Venu. Okay. Well, now I know the one card in your hand is a Dakini. And now you're just making a big Venu. And then you're going to Primal Cry, bring back E to 10. Okay. All right. All right. Hmm. What's the best way for me to deal with this? My deck's already really not equipped for this matchup, but my best way to deal with this is probably going to be to set, set, set. Then I can end my turn. I can, like. If he doesn't drop Dakini, I get to keep the Econ so that I can Econ take the Venu. And, like, the chance of him drawing a card that summons that Dakini is pretty low. Um, okay, declaring an attack on this. Oh, that's so easy! This has 1600 defense! You're, you, you fell right into the trap, Big Boyk. Sorry for your loss. Uh, let's see. So. I'm gonna kill that. Uh, I've got Powerful Rebirth. Which I can utilize. Plus Econ for taking. And I've got Curse of Anubis for a fallback. I like this. Okay. So we're going to set this. I'm going to normal summon the ocean. I'm going to go into battle phase. I'm going to check for Sphere Karibo. If that one card he drew was Sphere Karibo. Uh, by attacking. And my prompt comes up first because I'm turn player. I'm going to turn my toggle on. And... Okay. He had no delay. So that means that this is 100% safe for me to do this. Uh, he does not have Sphere Karibo. So I will get rid of Ocean. Is this enough for game? I actually didn't calculate this out. But it's fine. I've got the Curse of Anubis. So I think we're fine. So we'll take this. Go back to Auto. Uh, and then we'll attack with this. That'll do 12. Yeah, this isn't enough for game. Oh. Oh, no. If it was heat, it would be game. Unfortunate. But you know what? Whatever. You win some, you lose some. But I've got Curse of Anubis as well, which is actually fine. Uh, but So we'll just put him really low. Put the fear of God in this man. Uh, the Venu goes back. I've got Curse of Anubis. Uh, I'm just kind of heavily reliant on whatever I draw. Oh, you're just attacking straight away. Okay. Nice brain dead plays, buddy. I actually should have just taken that. I'm kind of stupid. But at the same time, I guess we can work with it. Uh, but I'll add this from my graveyard to my hand. I can't put Skyscraper up in battle phase, which is a bit unfortunate. Just a tiny bit. And this is already so big for me to deal with. I've got to draw traps. I'm, I'm on a clock that I'm not a fan of right now. I'm not a fan of the clock that I'm on. 
Uh, I could draw Econ. No, I can't draw Econ now. He's just going to summon Dakini. Oh, no. Mmm. If I'd had Heat instead of Ocean, I would have had Game that turn that I Econed. Okay, just summoning Dakini straight. Fair. Dakini does Pierce. Uh, so I actually want... Let's see, that's... 27, this would only do 9. I actually want to get rid of the Wild Heart. I'm okay with him doing more piercing over the ocean than anything else, because I get my Skyscraper. If I had kept the Wild Heart, I would have only had, um... It would have been 27 versus 16. I would have, uh, I would have taken 11. North American math. I thought I was taking 9. Oh well. This still works. This still works, a kind of. Yeah, because I can kill the Dakini. So I'll activate skill. Um, what did he add back to his hand? He added an Edith into his hand? Alright. Well, I guess I'll normal summon Heat. I'll set this. He outed the big-ass Venu for me, so I don't have to out it anymore. And now I just have to kill this Dakini. Easy! Now you're at 100 life. Uh, is there any card that you can put onto the field that prevents me... Okay, Sprite's Blessing. Are you going to summon another Dakini? Because if you summon another Dakini... Oh, just eat a 10. Okay. Eat a 10 by tributing Benson. Summoning it in defense mode. Okay. Well, I can get over that with a Wild Heart in my hand. Um, or I could just Powerful Rebirth for... Um, I could just Powerful Rebirth for... Uh, uh, for the, uh, the Ocean to get back Wild Heart from my grave. He do There's not even the need for this Wild Heart in my hand. So... Benton is triggering. I can't remember if I have knowledge of what that card is. Uh, but there's another Venu. But it can't be summoned because Venu requires 8. If this, Even if this is a Primal Cry, that Eda 10 is just going to chill there and do nothing. Wild Heart or Ocean is a... Oh, is this another Dakini? Oh, really? Okay, nothing? Okay, cool. I'm down for that. I'm down for that cause. I'll Powerful Rebirth. I'll bring back my Ocean. Ocean brings back Wild Heart. Uh, because Edithin has 1600 attack, uh, the Wild Heart will get the boost from Skyscraper. So it'll be able to kill the Edithin. Uh, but even if it didn't, I'm going to have three monsters on field now. So even Heat is by default 2200. Uh, so yeah, this is just, this is easy. I didn't like the clock that I was on for a little bit of time, but at the same time, now, now it's free. Because even if he has, like, one Sphere Karibo randomly in his hand, it doesn't stop me from killing him. Good. Cyber Angel's on Bones with Restart. What an odd choice. Not my first one. But, hey, man. I, I can understand why you would do it. Especially if you're trying to level up the character. I actually... I say some things that I don't... I actually just don't take into account that some people are literally just trying to level up the character. <laughs> um, so there's definitely that to consider. All of those wins are from just dick beat. Dick Beat rides again. We're getting it. Uh, and we're only 11 minutes in. We're two minutes. We're two games in. Uh, 11 minutes in in gameplay. So I guess I could, depending on how quick this one goes, I should be able to... Ah, uh, a Jaden Mirror. My opponent's probably going to have better cards than I do. He's probably going to be summoning Neos Knights. <laughs> I'm trying to get Jaden to level 40. I'm trying to max out Jaden so I can get our Righteous Justice. That's the only way to get the card. Um, and, uh, and, like, that card is the truth. That card is the gospel. You just put a bunch of heroes on the field and you righteous justice them, and it's over. Because it doesn't target. They have to chain immediately. And it's just like, bye-bye. The back row's gone now. Um, that card's great. That card is the sackiest one of. Oh, Cosmic Cyclone. Where are you going to target? Please target my Cosmic Cyclone. Damn it! That's the Floodgate. Are we playing, like, an exact same like sort of thing? Well, obviously, you're playing Jaden. You're probably going to put Skyscraper out. Oh, look, a heat. <laughs> Shit! Oh, no. Well, Skyscraper only benefits the monster that's, attack that's attacking. So, a plus for me. Uh, but we're both going to have Skyscrapers out. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Uh, I'm not going to use that yet. I'm going to see if I draw... Okay, that's another ocean. I'm... Okay. Okay. I'm okay with that. Why am I playing the Digbeat Mirror? I'm gonna check this person's deck afterwards and see if they're playing, like, 
Uh, no, they're probably not. They're probably playing the exact same deck that I'm playing. Because otherwise, if it was playing the Neos Knight build... Okay, what are you going to call? Randomly. What are you going to call? <laughs> if you call water, you're a cheater. Earth. Okay. <laughs> cool. Alright. I'll normal summon this water monster. I'll activate this skill and try to kill this heat. Uh, that back row could definitely be something that I don't want to deal with, but at the same time, too late now. Wall of Disruption. Alright. Well, I lose. <laughs> it summon any monster in your hand, and it is game. Oh? Ah, damn it. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna check this man's deck. He might be playing the exact same deck that I'm playing. He's most likely playing the exact same deck. Even started with the Cosmic Cyclone on the Floodgate, too. I wanna check. You best believe I wanna check. No way I don't wanna check. There's zero way that I don't want to check. What is this? Oh, it's a shittier version of my deck. He's playing Dice Foon. Which, I mean, I guess the card I could play. I mean, he's got Super Rushes, so that's kind of cool. Um, but, like, ew. Ew. You don't need these cards. All you need are these. All you need are the Wild Hearts, the Heats, and the uh, and the Oceans. Like, ew. 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 You don't need that Destiny Hero in there. That doesn't work with Skyscraper. That, that conflicts. Big boy. Neo Sailor is kind of alright, but we don't have Gemini Spark. So, it, like, Heat just ends up being better. So, things to consider. Okay, Joey. Going second. Is it Six Sams? Or is it Bougians? That is the question. I'm going second with a Floodgate in my hand. Amazing. It's gonna summon like Zanji, and I'm not gonna be able to get over it. Fuck! <laughs> Shit! Alright. Oh, Cosmic Cyclone. That. Oh. 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 Okay, this comes 18. The Zanji is 18. Okay, Cosmic Cyclone this. This is a Pyro. It's not a Warrior, so it doesn't get a boost. This, its attack becomes the same as the monster you send, so it doesn't get a boost. I've got Floodgate for a Yaichi, so I guess this could work. Um, yeah, okay, so we'll Normal Summon this. You know, Normal Summon this, I'm going to use this to send an Ocean to Grave. Uh, just one, so that I can draw Powerful Rebirth and recur that. Uh, and then I'm just going to set literally all three cards in my hand. <laughs> uh, set all three. That yeah, If he has a Yaichi, it doesn't matter. Uh, if he has a Great Shogun Sheen, it doesn't matter, because I'm just going to Floodgate a Yaichi if it gets summoned. Uh, there he is. Floodgate, that bitch. Not dealing with you today. Attack with your Zanji into my Blaze Man. No, about to end your turn? Damn it. Playing like a pussy, but at least now heat's bigger. Ah, oh, look, an ocean. That works. Okay. So now we can... What I'm going to do, right, is I'm going to normal summon heat. I'm going to normal summon heat, I'm going to go into... Wait, what the hell? No, I'm just going to do this now. That way I get skyscraper first. Yeah. I was going to attack and then see if, like, check for sphere Karibo. And then, um, and then do cosmic. But I can just do this. This is fine. This, this is better. <laughs> How much defenses you guys you have? Gotta check. Always gotta check. Yaichi, 800. Easy. Okay. I've got an ocean in my hand, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna activate this. I'm going to send Wild Heart from deck to grave. Just so that I don't draw monsters next turn, so I draw more back row. I've already got an ocean in my hand, so that's fine. Then we'll go into battle phase. Uh, I'll attack the Zanji. Oh, he has a response. A response! Re He does have the Sphere Karibo. Okay. Alright, well then this goes to defense mode. I'll attack over the Yaichi. And if he has another Yaichi that he summons next turn, I can just flip Mirror Wall. So that's not a factor. Uh, because, like, Yaichi can only destroy spells and traps if they remain set. Um, it's the same thing as Dark World Lightning. Uh... So, like, yeah. Oh, hand. Okay. That works. 
What are you going to tribute herself? Or the Zanji? Oh, tributing Zanji. Okay, well, that makes this easy. Popping that? Boy, howdy, that was a mistake. You're going to try to attack for damage, and I'm just going to damage step mirror wall you. You can't just end your turn like this. I have a skyscraper face up. Do you not know that that makes my shit bigger than yours? <laughs> Damn it. Do you not know that that's how that works? Uh, does the boost happen? Does the boost apply itself after its attack becomes? No, it does not. But that's okay. I've got enough monsters in my grave. I don't. I don't care. I'm gonna attack. If you have another sphere, Karibo, you're gonna have to use two, or else this hand dies. Okay. Good. <laughs> Good. You you can't just like. You can't just sit there and end your turn against me. I have a skyscraper up and a monster that you know can kill your hand. Like... You don't just get to end turn anymore. As soon as skyscraper is up, every monster that I summon has the potential to be between 1,200 and 3,000. There's no way you just get to end your turn. Uh, but, okay. He could have Anishi, Sheehan's Chancellor, that could be a card he could summon. Nothing. Alright. I'm okay with that. Okay, I'm gonna go in for one more game, because we're actually doing pretty decently on time. So I guess that works out. Uh, I just- I love playing in Duel Links. Duel Links is so much fun. Uh, the fact that I can play a deck like this, and just like, outsmart people, is hilarious. What was that loss? Oh yeah, that was the other Digbeat deck. <laughs> How I've already forgotten. How quickly we forget. But so let's see. Let's see what we have uh, as far as this match goes. Uh, what? Reet? Oh, Paradox Brothers. Okay. I still have no idea how the new three star demotion works. I haven't looked into it. I just know that it's not real anymore. It like only works with Sound of the Thunder, Suogen, and Kazujin, I think. Unsure. Hopefully, unsure. Uh, okay, well, I've got Cosmic Cyclone, so. Um, and there's no delay, so he's not playing anything like Restart. And he's not playing. Balance. I don't even know if Paradox Brothers have balance. Or, uh, restart. Balance is pretty much a commonly dropped skill. Can't remember if Paradox Brothers have restart. I need to do a lot more research into this game. My technical play is pretty fucking good, but, like... Oh my god, are you serious? Oh. <laughs> you fuck. Oh my god. Amazon is Swordswoman. Are you serious with me? I'm gonna... I'm gonna Cosmic Cyclone one of these. 100%. I'm gonna Cosmic Cyclone that middle one. I'm gonna get this Skyscraper. I'm gonna fuck you up. Oh my god, brain dead stall burn players! Can we just not? Can we just have a good time and not do this to each other? My god damn! Alright, well. Uh. Probably is playing three star to motion two, just so we can set Suogen or Sangha of the Thunder or Kazajin and just fuck me. And just literally fuck me. Uh, well, normal summon this. Uh, I don't care about the damage I take from this. I'm gonna activate my uh, Where the Heroes Dwell skill. This will go to 3k. If he wall disruptions me, that loses 16, so it goes to 14. Um, I'd be able to powerful rebirth that, though. So I'm not too worried about it. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to attempt to suicide these. And see where what takes place. So that I don't take damage from it. But if he flips something that like makes me uh, that makes me like lose attack or some shit, uh, then Skyscraper will give me a boost, which might do some things. Ah, massive morph. Okay, well I'm gonna take 15 from this. <laughs> um, oh, double massive morph for game. How fucking neat. Oh my god, really? You had three massive morphs? How? How did you do that? How does one do these things? <laughs> Look at these brain dead fucking people. Open three massive morphs. What a fucking master. I guess you just deserved that one. Holy shit. Oh my god, okay, well we're not leaving the we're not leaving that the video on that loss. Not leaving it on that one. I guess I'll go play another game. Like shit me. How do you open all three massive morphs in a 20 card deck? 
What are the chances of that? I'm so used to regular Yu-Gi-Oh! probability. I mean, opening three of a three of and 40 cards is 0.01% chance. You know what? I'm going to go figure this out. The probability calculator that I use works for 20 cards as well as... Uh, so, four cards. Well, no, he had five. He had five because he went second. Um, open three of a three of. It's 0.88%. <laughs> it's less than a percent. I got got. Now this is probably going to be like Phoenix. Phoenix beatdown? Probably. <sighs> and then it's going to be just a bad matchup for me all around because I don't know how I deal with Phoenix. Oh, no, Cyber Angels. Okay, well, we've already messed with this. We've already messed with this at least once today. I'm okay with that. Oh, you're playing Machine Angel Ritual? Okay. That's valuable knowledge. There's a Machine Angel Ritual here. That means I'm by default only dealing with one Cyber Angel Dakini in his deck. It's very valuable information. You definitely want to take note of those. If you're new to Duel Links, take note of that. Both Machine Angel Ritual and Cyber Angel Dakini are semi-limited in Duel Links, and the way the Forbidden Limited list works in Duel Links is different from regular Yu-Gi-Oh. If there's a card that's at two, you can only have two copies of a card of any number of cards that are at two in your deck, period. Uh, so you can either have two Dakinis and no Machine Angel Rituals, no Dakinis and two Machine Angel Rituals, or one and one, because both cards are at two. Same thing with limited cards. You can only contain one limited card in your entire deck. It's a very interesting formula. It makes it very easy to balance decks around. It makes it very easy to balance decks around. It's kind of a format that I wish the regular TCG would adopt because it makes it so easy because like you can just be a lot more flexible with your Forbidden Limited list because if you're playing one Soul Charge, then you're not playing um, then you're not playing Max C, or if you're not playing or like the, it's, basically it's just that. Um, it's a very neat formula and it probably only works because of how limited Duel Links card uh, card pool is. But it's a very cool, cool way to handle it. I really like it. It was really refreshing to see. Okay, so Machine Angel Ritual. Uh, what did he add? He added Eda 10. Okay. I've got the Econ to counter the Dakini. The one Dakini. Um, and then I can Powerful Rebirth the Ocean back. So this is easy. I've got the Windstorm as well. Um, so that's not too big of an issue. Uh, but even then, Eda 10 as well. If the Eda 10 stays on the board... Um, not that big of an issue. I'm okay with taking life because that puts me in skyscraper range. Um, I think I just break his deck wide open once I get rid of his one Dakini because he can only play one because he has one Machine Angel Ritual in his deck. Both the cards are at two. Like I just said, you either play two Dakini and zero Machine Angel Ritual or you play two and two. Or one and one. Because <laughs> that was the, the way that the deck was played beforehand before it got its uh, most recent nerf was... Dakini was at 3 and Machine Angel Ritual was at 1. So you could just play 3 Dakini and 1 Machine Angel Ritual. And they were like, we need to nerf Cyber Angels more. They're too dominant. Um, and so they put Machine Angel Ritual back up to 2. But then put Dakini to 2. And because of the way that this format uh, of uh, ban list works, it, it worked out. It was a check to the deck. You have to make a choice. You either play a more consistent deck and only play 1 Dakini. Or you play a more powerful deck... And, um, and, uh, make sure I don't miss this Econ trigger here. Uh, or you play a more powerful deck and you, uh, and you play the two Dakinis and then you just focus all your efforts on, um, on Machine Angel Absolute Ritual and Sprite's Blessing and things like Sephira. Uh, Sephira is a pretty big crutch. And then there's also the people that are playing the Venu deck, but, like, that version sucks. That version is 100% glass cannon, all or nothing. Um... Okay, so, there's that. I know the Machine Angel Ritual is in his grave. Uh, so that's good. Good, good, good. Cyber Angels is still a pretty legit deck, though. Um, he's just getting fucked because I'm playing, uh, because I'm playing Econ. Okay, do I want the Skyscraper? Or do I not care? That's the question of the hour. I want to not take a shit ton of damage right now. Uh, well, it's not even like a shit ton. It's just taking that 14 puts me into the range of my opponent could unfair me. Um, and so I know that he has a Sinju in his hand. I don't know what this other card is. At least I don't think I know what it is. Unsure. Not going to waste time looking in that log. I should have been a little bit more perceptive. But I think that I just don't know what it is. 
That's another Econ, in case he's able to put Dakini on the board again, but that's unlikely. Uh, the only way he can recur that Dakini back to his hand is through, uh, is through Saphira, but that's a multi-turn process. So I think we're okay with this. Uh, so now the interaction that I have here is I've got Econ, I've got Windstorm, so those are both really good for me. Um, and I can summon this Blazeman, I can send Heat to the Grave, and then I can just add Heat to my hand next turn with the Ocean. So it's just removing monsters out of my deck and like just choosing what I'm drawing next turn. Like I'm removing monsters out of my deck so that I'm more likely to draw spells and traps. Um, but then I'm also like going to use Ocean to add that Heat back to my hand. So like I'm drawing essentially two cards a turn um, every time I resolve Blazeman. It's a super valuable interaction. Uh, but so we'll attack with this. Uh, let's see. Let's check if, check for a delay. Okay, no delay. He doesn't have Sphere Karibo. Uh, so that's not what's in his hand. Either that or he has Toggle off. My opponent is probably just scooped. Oh no, they're using Machine Angel Ritual to uh, keep this uh, alive. Which is silly. Okay. Since that was there, we'll check for Sphere Karibo again. Okay, no Sphere Karibo. The way that I'm doing that is I'm turning my toggle on after I attack. I don't know if I explained this already, I can't remember. Is that I'm declaring an attack while I have a chainable, uh, which I do have because I've got the Windstorm. And so, because I'm turn player, I have turn player priority to activate a spell speed 2 effect first as soon as an attack is declared. Right? And so on attack declaration, my toggle auto pops up on auto to like, do you want to activate this card? Right? And so I immediately switch it to on so that I don't miss the battle step uh, prompts. Oh, he's playing Venu too. Okay, well his, his deck is not good. Um, so that I don't miss the battle step prompt after the attack declaration prompt. And I pass my priority by hitting that arrow. And anytime your opponent has a response for anything, their little hourglass will light up. If it doesn't light up, even if it lights up for a split second, that means that they were just super quick to press this back button. Um, if it doesn't light up, then, uh, then that just means that, um, you know, I'm okay with that dying. Am I okay with that dying? No, I just want to kill him next turn. So yeah, we'll, we'll, get, we'll econ this to defense mode. Um, but because my opponent's, uh, thing did not light up at all, even if it was a split second reaction that my opponent was like, no, want to hide it, it'll still light up that, uh, that little hourglass icon. Um... So, uh, so what you do is you just do that, and then, like, in the battle step, you activate your card. Uh, and that's what's, uh, and then it lets you freely do things, because you saw that your opponent had literally nothing, because the prompt won't appear for them if they have nothing. Uh, no, that's not the right red man. <laughs> we want heat. Uh, but I've got a wall of disruption and a windstorm set. This is, this is easy. This is free. Half the times you just don't need skyscraper in your life to, to, like, have game. And this is one of those instances. I got rid of that Econ, by the way, because there's no way that he's going to be doing anything with Dakini. There's no way for him to re recover it to his hand because of Venu. Um, even Primal Cry can't uh, can't do anything with it because it's uh, because it's not uh, it's not uh, a card that was sent to grave that turn. So that is the thing. Is that Primal Cry? I do respect that Primal Cry is a hard counter to Econ uh, taking the Dakini because you could just you know Primal Cry it back to your field. And then resolve its effects and, you know, be good. Um, but, like, it's still not optimal. Like, Saphira is just better. Because Saphira has Hymn of Light, which works like Machine Angel Ritual for graveyard protection. That's why that card was so relevant. That's why the hits were made. Oh, I got some gems. Hell yeah. Okay, good. Perfect way to end the video. Alright, so, I guess we'll go back to the deck editor. And we'll finish this video out. So, anyway... This was a bit of a longer one, uh, but that's okay. I, I really like playing Duel Links, so I mean, I guess it was something that was that was worthwhile. And also, I discussed some things that maybe some people that are newer to Duel Links want to you know figure out. Because sometimes you have trouble on the ladder, and you're not playing around with your toggle, and it doesn't take that much time, and it gives you infinite amounts of information if it's something that you mess around with. So, anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys want to see more Duel Links content. Let me know if you want to see more Duel Links streams. Uh, because I've been doing a few of those. My last four streams were all Duel Links related. I don't know how much more I'll be keeping up. Like specifically doing only Duel Links. Um, specifically because I was trying to rush for King of Games. But definitely when the KC Cup comes around. I will probably be doing some live streams playing in that as well. But let me know if you're interested in the comments down below as per always. But other than that as always guys. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to all nonsense you usually do. 
Thanks for watching, as I've already said. Thanks for your time, as usual. And take care, guys. I'll see you in the next video. But now the video's over, I'd like to give special thanks to my patrons, Iradium, Yuki Phoenix, Troy Perkins, Eric Gertson, Tour Guides Guy, and Ringleader, as well as everybody else supporting in the lower tiers. You guys help make what I'm doing here continue to be possible. You have my eternal gratitude, as always, and you're forever awesome. Thank you so much for the support, you guys.